Okay, this is the complete guide to setting up ASIO MAME um, in so that so you can get the lowest possible audio latency. The requirements here are going to be either a sound card that natively supports ASIO, which is going to be more rare, or just a semi-modern motherboard that has Realtek sound uh, built into it, which should be almost anything. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to go to the Arcade Controls forum, arcadecontrols.com, and we're going to go to the message board. Go into the message board. And then once we're in the message, message board, we're going to go to the Groovy Mame section. And you're going to see a thread there called GM ASIO Alpha 0.170. And this is going to have all the downloads that you need. So, um, and it's actually really simple. I mean, it's only a couple of steps here, really. So, so first we're going to get ASIO for all. We're going to download the English version. And then, after we get ASIO for all, we're going to keep scrolling down here. And then you're going to see, here's the latest version um, to download. That he put it up on Mega. Mega NZ, whatever. So we're going to download this version of MAME. Okay, so while that's going on, um, I'm going to go to the uh, MAME website and just download the latest version so we have um, you know, a fresh copy here for the folder structure. We're just going to create a clean MAME uh, you know, folder structure here. Okay, so Maybe we just about got everything here. All right, okay, okay, so that's basically it. So let's look at what we have here. We have ASIO for all, Groovy MAME, and just standard MAME. Okay, so we're gonna run the MAME installer here, and I'm just gonna put it in this Groovy MAME folder. Oh God, stop taking so long. And so now you'll notice, you know, in this Groovy main folder, we just have basically all of our stuff in here. We're not going to need the main binary because um, this isn't the one that we're going to actually end up using. But um, just for the purpose of this, though, I'm going to go into uh, this folder and just and just create a config. I'm just going to do main cc and create uh, an ini file. All right, so now that we have this, let's um, copy the stuff in this Groovy MAME into our MAME folder. Okay, so now we have the true uh, MAME binary that we're going to use, this is MAME64. Um, I will, I'm just going to toss the out of the box one and I'll just rename this MAME, but I mean, this, this doesn't matter, whatever. Okay, so okay, so we have main, we have this stuff. Okay, so now the magic that's going to happen is with uh, ASIO for all. So let's install this guy. So yeah, you basically sign your life away. Now, all you have to do is just click offline settings when you install, and just you can leave everything else. You know, just the standard settings. Okay, so that's pretty much it. We're almost done. Okay, so now we have ASIO for all. Now the next step is um, when you go in uh, and launch a game in MAME, you're going to want to. Oh well, actually, let, let me let me do some basic configuration on this. Uh, just you know, set my paths and uh, you know all that stuff. I'm just going to point this thing to my ROM folder just so we can get something running here. So, I don't know, let's do Samurai Shodown 2, I guess. And, and what, here's what you're here's what going to want to do. When you first run it, you want to run it in windowed mode. And, and I'm, and I'm going to show you why. So, see how at the bottom of the screen here, we got this ASIO for all uh, V2 MAME, and then it tells us samples and um, you know sample rate. Okay, so you're going to want to double click this green crap in your tray. Okay, so it's going to bring up this ASIO for all. So here's what you're going to notice. Um, it depends on your audio setup, of course, but notice how right now 
no sound. I'm not getting any sound. Um, get out of my life. Okay, so here's what you're gonna do. You're gonna click on this little wrench for advanced options. And then you're gonna expand out. Uh, I, see how I'm disabling everything but what I want? Screw the Yeti microphone. Bye bye Yeti, I just clicked it to disable it. No, get out of my life yet. And then, and then look at this. See how in this case, it has, uh, it's hooked up for these stereo input devices and this HD audio output. But right now, my sound is actually coming out of the optical out because I'm using DTS Connect. So I'm gonna select this one because that is actually where my audio is coming out right now. Um, so if you just have a standard setup, if you're not doing anything like DTS Connect, you don't even have to do that. Um, it should just be uh, you know, on whichever device that you need. But just note that you're gonna want to have, you're gonna wanna click and have like the little blue uh, icon next to the audio device that is actually going to be outputting audio on your machine. So if you don't know what it is, you know, go into your Windows, uh, you know, audio settings and see which device is actually the one outputting audio. And that's the one that you're going to want to make sure is uh, checked in here. Okay, so here's the other thing you're going to want to do. Turn on allow pull mode. And then, then, um, see how you have this ASIO buffer size? Set this to be as low as you can possibly go without having any audio glitches. Um, on my computers, I can turn it down all the way and it works. Um, uh, I, I don't know how good your computer is going to be, but it, it better be good enough. So I, I'm screw this, 64, I'm going all the way down. All right, so I did that. And that's, okay, so basically, so I'm configured now. So now if I exit this sucker and I start it again, now, let's see what happens. Oh, God. That feels good. I, I like that latency. Oh, God. All right, so, okay, so we're, we're set up and running now. So, see, look at how simple this was. All we basically had to do was just take a new main binary and install ASIO for all. And, you know, it's just easy. Easy. Okay, so, but, but there is more though, um, if we really want to tweak this as much as possible. If you go into your main I and I, look for audio latency. By default, MAME sets this at two, which is a complete farce. Um, one of the nice things about Groovy MAME is that it supports floating point numbers for your audio latency. So it's, it doesn't just support integers. So it doesn't have to be one or two or three. It can be 1.5 or, or 0.2 or whatever, but, Screw that, I'm going to point zero, uh, or 0 0.1 because it works, it works for me and there's basically no latency. Um, and then any other stuff in your main line that you're going to want to do. Screw sleep, get out of my life sleep. Make sure that multi-threading is off, if, uh, you know, unless you have like a CRT monitor set up or something like that. Uh, oh, also be aware that uh, with this build of MAME, um, you can put in some nifty commands here, such as disable nag screen patch zero and disable loading patch zero. And if you put these in and you launch a game, boom, no nag screens. Oh, God. That feels good. So let me zoom in on this. Groovy MAME supports this crap. So um, get those nag screens, get those loading screens out of your life right now. Right now! Okay, so um, yeah, I mean that's pretty much it. So, so basically you've done that. If you have a good computer, you can now play games in MAME with basically no audio latency. Um, I did some testing. I, I tried like 10 different front ends and I mean I can't say this without you know complete arrogance and conceit but um, it's the truth Big Blue is the only front end that works with this it doesn't work with any other front end um, so yeah I mean you know there it is but um, if you have any questions about how to set up ASIO for all or anything like that, or if you're having any trouble, 
um, you know, put a comment on this video and I'll look into it. But it should be pretty straightforward. There's really not much to it. I think the main thing that people are going to get hung up on possibly is if they have weird setups where the default sound device isn't actually the one that is outputting the audio so you just think it isn't working. And just remember that you can always you know, run MAME in windowed mode and click that crap in your tray and tweak the settings. Like if you're, if you're having any audio breakup, you can, just, you can bump up you know, the, the buffering a little bit. I mean, and here's what I've noticed. I mean, 64 is nice, but even leaving it alone and not you know, lowering um, you know, the, the, the buffering, it's still really good. It's still way better than the standard MAME. So um, yeah, so head over to you know, the arcade controls forums and, uh, and, and look at this GM ASIO alpha thread, and that's gonna have the links that you need. It's a little bit more involved if you're gonna compile your own MAME, but um, you don't really need to though, because the nice thing about this is that this build of MAME already removes the NAG screens, so you really don't have to do anything. Um, it, it's great, it, it's great. I mean, so and just to tell you a little story here, my arcade cabinet, I was, um, you know, I set this up and I was playing Night Warriors. And I noticed, you know, I said, you know, something's wrong here. It, it doesn't feel quite right. It feels, it feels a little laggy. And um, I looked at the settings in my front end, and you know, lo and behold, um, I, I was I, that Night Warriors happened to have been pointing to the you know old standard main binary instead of the ASIO one. I mean, that's what I'm saying. This is noticeable. I can't go back. This changed me. It changed my expectations. It changed my standards, I now expect more from audio latency. If I hear any audio latency, I get angry. My brows furrow and, uh, you know, my, uh, my fist forms.